the Upper Room Church has a job opening available for a business manager. All interested candidates with accounting and business experience should email your resume and questions to First Lady Pamela Wooden at firstlady at plwooden.org. Applications are available in the administration office. The North Carolina 3rd 4th Annual Holy Convocation will be held Wednesday, July 31st through Friday, August 2nd here at NC 3rd Headquarters, The Upper Room, Church of God in Christ. This year's theme is the Holy Ghost, and the first day of the conference will feature an anointed two-hour prayer from 8 a.m. to 10 a.m., concluding with the high praise morning worship. Other planned activities include morning manna with the word from Administrative Assistant Superintendent Ronald Rowland, day sessions for men and women, an ordination service, and soul-stirring evening services. Thursday, August 1st is Women's Day and will feature Mother Beverly DeJanay as our day speaker, plus seminars and other inspirational messages. Also, calling all Acts 6 and 3 men, make plans to join Bishop Patrick L. Wooden Sr., Elder Anthony M. Wilson, and the men of NC 3rd at our Thursday men's session. God is looking for a few good men. I'm talking about Acts 6 and 3 men. Brothers, meet me here on Thursday, this week here at the Upper Room Church of God in Christ. God is going to have a mighty move as we learn about the importance of men having the Holy Ghost. This year's evening speakers include NC Second Jurisdictional Prelate Bishop Stenneth Powell, Great Lakes First Jurisdiction of Michigan Supervisor Diane Bogan, and our pastor, NC Third Jurisdictional Prelate Bishop Patrick L. Wooden Sr. Let's praise the Lord! Do I have anybody who wants to do it again? You want to take another stab at it? Can't wait to get back to the clinic. Can't wait to get back to the homeless shelter. Can't wait! Can't wait because there's something on the inside that tells me to do it again. A free continental breakfast and lunch will be served daily, but registration is required. Visit nc3rd.org for registration and additional information. Make plans now to be a part of this powerful move of the Holy Ghost. I have been at the upper room for 29 years. My husband came to the upper room because he was um, a salesman, so he traveled a lot. And he was all around, he listened to the radio all during the day. So he had, he was just listening to the radio and he had to go hear that old man preach. He heard him on the radio and he said, I just got to hear this old man preach. So we wanted to go to the upper room so he could hear that old man preach. So when we stepped in that first day, we kept looking, you know, waiting for the old man to show up to preach. But as soon as pastor started, he said, that's him. <laughs> so, and we've been here ever since. It just, we came in the doors feeling like we're home and it's been that way. Bishop Wooden means to me, he's been a, a teacher. I was, I accepted the Lord as my personal savior when I was 15. But it wasn't until I got to the upper room that I learned that you had to live something. There was a relationship that you had to have. It wasn't just being a good person, that you needed to know the Bible, you needed to know God, and that there was more than you know just uh, uh, coming to church, hearing the preacher, and not knowing the Bible for yourself. Uh, I cannot express how it means that he has taught us, you know, about life and about God and about relationship. And then there's just the opportunities that being here at the Upper Room has uh, afforded us to just be involved in things that I never would have known about. The teaching is just beyond valuable. Save the date as we celebrate God's faithful watchmen, the 32nd pastoral anniversary of Bishop Patrick L. Wooden Sr., Sunday, September 15th. <laughs>